Hey, what's up everyone? Um, welcome to another tutorial. Today I will be showing you how to do this um, 3D gun animation in Element 3D in After Effects, of course. Uh, I'm only gonna show you guys how to do the gun part, uh, not the surroundings, not the weird effects. If you want to copy these effects, you have to watch my VHS tutorial. I'll try to link that in the description. And you can also watch my um, uh, glitch transition tutorial because I also use a lot of this grain and um, as you can see this cross blur effect from that tutorial. Um, so this is a post I did to Instagram. Be sure to follow my Instagram as well. I think it's somewhere in the description. So um, I have a little preview here of what I've made real quick. It's not perfect. It's really not optimized. As you can see the speed curve is a little bit weird because it goes so fast in the beginning. But um, you get the idea of what, I, what we're gonna work with. Um, so I'm gonna delete everything, uh, make a new composition, just copy these settings, uh, 1080p, 30fps, should be fine. Uh, I'm gonna create a new solid. We're gonna call this a gun one, because element 3D has to be applied to a solid layer. So we're gonna apply it to this. And as you can see, nothing happens, because you gotta click on scene setup. And in your scene setup, you can basically um, uh, put anything in your thing. So there's a starter pack that comes with uh, the standard download of uh, Element 3D and you can add like a light bulb or something as you can see, but I don't want the light bulb um, You can also just add some uh, projectile weapons. That's a pack. Uh, I've bought that pack um, And imported it into Element 3D. It's basically a pack full of OBJs with um, just uh, combat guns and shit um, as you can see, I use this gun for my animation, but it's a little bit dark, so I just messed around with the environment. Uh, put up the uh, the brightness a little bit to like uh, 100, and then I increase the contrast a little bit, maybe it sets to 100 as well. As you can see, it's really shiny right now, uh, I don't want that, so I'm gonna mess around with the environment a little more. Maybe set it to like 50 or something. Yeah, that's better. It's still light and doesn't really glow as much. So uh, I, right now I'm done with my scene setup. So I'm going to click on OK. It's sort of the apply button. And as you can see, you can't do anything. If you rotate this, it will just rotate as a still image. Because you have to go to world transform. And in the world transform, that's where all the magic happens. As you can see, um, here we can rotate the, the world in it. So in the, the, we, we basically rotate the entire scene setup. And uh, what we're gonna do first is we're gonna do a little scale up animation. So we're gonna set a keyframe here and a keyframe at one second. Uh, if you wanna go like 10 frames further with one click, you have to hold Control Shift and press the right arrow key three times so you can move along one second. Place a keyframe. Um, gonna ease the. Oh wait, gotta put this one at zero. Uh, gonna ease this one up. There we go. And right now we're gonna work on the animation of the, the gun. So as you can see in the video I showed you the gun rotates like sidewards. Um, so we're gonna, yeah, there we go. It's the Y rotation we have to have. So we're gonna click on the keyframe here. Gonna move to one second and 10, just so it's not too uh, fast. I'm gonna move along again. We're gonna set this to one and this to zero, of course. And you want to place two keyframes instead of one so you can have like a little smoother part in the beginning. Um, that's for easing, I'm gonna explain that right now because we want to ease this of course. Uh, so this, these are our, our normal curves and what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag this one a little bit to here. Do the same for this one, just make sure it's kind of mirrored. Uh, then we want to drag this one up and we want to drag this one up. And we're gonna drag this to the side and this to the side, maybe this a little bit back so the, the peak isn't too extreme. You gotta just mess around with the graph settings. So basically what this does, uh, it starts off slow and then it sort of speeds up, then it has like a peak and it slows down. Uh, uh, and in the middle, there's of course the gun in the middle, then it's really slow. Um, here you can maybe add like a shooting animation like what I did in my uh, cover art thingy and then it speeds up again and it rotates back so let's try and ramp preview this
yeah that's that's all right i guess it's still uh, not really fast so we're gonna improve this a little bit we're gonna drag these to the right so it's a bit faster let's do this even more but you still have to make sure it's like the speed is sort of balanced if you know what i mean uh, it doesn't have to be extreme that's pretty nice uh, that's looking clean so what we're gonna do next is we want to make sure uh, we check our keyframe for when the gun is like uh, precisely like horizontal in front of us so we can see this hole uh, we want to place a keyframe for the uh, z axis and the x y axis and we want to place a keyframe at one second and um, we're gonna place some more keyframes if you want to open oh shit i deleted keyframe there by accident if you want to open up all animated properties you have to select the layer and press u by the way um, because as you can see the anchor point of the layer is not here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the layer down a little bit um, what we're gonna do with a sort of special easing method um, so you do not notice that a gun is weirdly moving like down and shit uh, we're gonna set this to minus two sets six 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 dot six 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 seven gonna select these keyframes and animate them drag them to the right there we go so basically what this does is zooms in through the gun whole thing as you can see that's looking pretty slick gonna uh, press ctrl shift d and uh, we want to delete the upper layer so we just have this little cut off as you can see let's preview this that's looking pretty simple pretty slick um so we're gonna duplicate this right now and i am going to put it under here and what we're gonna do is make sure you can al already see the kind of oh shit already kind of see the gun coming up so it's really a like a nice loop and shit Let's run preview this. Yeah, and basically that's what I did. And I just created the GIF, uh, doing this multiple times. Um, make sure you are consistent with how many keyframes you put here so it's looking like a better transition. And then uh, as final effects, I added some grain to the entire thing. I added cross blur. I duplicated this cross blur. I put cross blur on the bottom layer uh, for like uh, 50 50 set this to screen and turn down the opacity to like 50 um, so it's not oh no wait I set this to bad I think I'm not sure anyways it doesn't really matter oh wait what I did first is I added a fill I set this to white so the entire cross blur is right really radiating if you can set it to like 25 or something there we go now we have a nice blur i also added some uh, uh some edge rays i added some uh, s glow some sapphire glow to the gun i uh, also made everything black and white so there's no like weird uh, brown parts and there um so i hope you learned something from this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it be sure to like subscribe all of that stuff my channel has been booming um, thank you for that and I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone.